Hey guys, Tim here. It's November 28th and this will probably, I know I've been saying this for like the last three videos, but this will probably be the last video for the year unless something comes up and somehow I end up buying some more stuff. As of now, there's no more plans to buy anything else, but this will probably be the last package and I wasn't even planning to buy this until it was shown that it was going to have a bleach poster and I really wanted that in the jump issue and I had no idea this was coming in today. It was supposed to be in like middle of December, but for some reason it just came in really early. I have no idea. It's like, it's strange. Like, um, I messed up and did not get the expedited shipping from, or priority shipping from Amazon Japan. Again, I keep messing up and forgetting to hit that uh, button. That way I get it on time. Um, usually whenever you pay for priority for me anyway, I get it within like two to three days. And I much rather do that. And it only costs like $5 more roughly. So... I'd much, much rather do that. Um, anyway, this time it's just a random manga and a couple of jump issues, so not a super long video anyway. Uh, this one is Sayonara Eri by... Um, let me grab the manga volume off right here. Uh, the Creative Chainsaw Man. This is the, like, one-shot story thingy that he did, like, during his break in between, like, the end of the first part of Chainsaw Man and the start of the second part. Um, this is the thing that he did, so... I had read part of it online, I believe. I don't think I've got around to reading all of it, um, but I might actually end up trying to give it a read. I'll need to see how difficult it is. That way I know if I will actually be able to read it or not, but it'll definitely be worth looking into. Anyway, we have that. And let's see here what order are these in. All right, here's the first one. Um, we have jump issue number 50. So we have that. And we also have, I'm going to move these out of the way because I want to pull those off the shelf to show just how many jump volumes I've gotten like this year. Anyway, we have um, issue number 50 for the year, so only two issues left. And unfortunately, probably not going to worry about getting the final issue because I don't think there's anything in it that I particularly want. And here we have um, issue 51. And this one should have the bleach poster that I wanted, which I'm going to try to show this off somehow anyway there we have it. it has the bleach poster it's pretty much the only reason i placed this order was to get this and has some info on the back so that's pretty cool yeah really really pretty cool yeah need to actually look through these i ain't been keeping up on much manga anyway um let's see here let's try to get these out because i've gotten so many jump issues this year and next year probably I'm going to slow down on these a lot just because I'm going to show you just how much room these things take up. This is one stack. This is like, I don't know, I didn't even start collecting until like the 10th issue of the year, so I'm missing like nine issues there. Um, I only have about half of the issues for like the whole year, so this is not nearly all of the issues of Jump for the year. So, yeah. Uh, I kind of feel sorry for the people that collect like all 52 issues every year because that's an insane amount. Here's another stack. There's more jump issues. Hopefully it won't break the table I have them on. And here's the next stack. And here's the two new issues. I don't think I'll be able to pick this up and get it all on camera. We can give it a try. It's like down to my waist. I mean, look at this. This is like half a year's worth of jump issues. Look at how much shelf space this takes up. That's just insane. Um, but it's kind of hard not to collect them just because jump issues are super cheap to buy. Um, let's just look on the cover for one. Forget how much they are. Uh, 290 yen with the current exchange rate for Japan. You're looking at like less than $2 an issue. So that's... That's like insane, plus your shipping costs, so. Again, it's not bad. It's still like, it's even cheaper than like, it's probably still cheaper than even the old jump issues, like. It's probably still jump, uh, cheaper than these, yeah, because these was $5 back in 2003, the old jump issues. Sorry about that, I had to put the jump issues away just because um, this is a little flimsy old table that I was putting them on and I was really concerned that it was actually gonna break this table because that was quite a bit of weight and it was just, it was seeming like it was gonna fall and I wanted to put up my jump issues. I didn't want them to all get destroyed from falling over. Um, so anyway, we have just a quick little video today, just two new jump issues, issues of manga. A few more things, 
probably not going to be anything else. Might do one more video. I don't think I've did my collection update for November, so still probably going to have that next month. So maybe one more video for the year. But anyway, I will see you in the next video. Later.